All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Kevin again with Yerk It Racing. We're back in the shop again today. Um, if you didn't catch it on the last one, we made us an, a, a timing pointer for this LT1 build. If you didn't see the last one, I'll post it up here. Go back and check that out first so you can see how we kind of mocked everything up and got the basic design for what we wanted. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you kind of what we got, what we have now. All right, guys, so we're back. It's a couple of weeks later. Um, I've got the parts reprinted here. And this time we just did it in plastic so we can make sure the pattern is right. Like I said, I was off on this pattern by just a little bit. And this bracket here was good, but this top hole was off just a hair, so I had to slide it over. So hopefully, we're getting ready to check it all now. Hopefully, everything will be in the same spot now. I think we got it figured out from last time. So anyway, we're going to set it up here, give it a run on the motor, see what we got. All right, so I got it all mocked up here. As you can see, our remote water mount block adapters fit up nice now i'm really happy with the way they came out so the file on them will be good i can have those you know go ahead and have those cnc'd out of aluminum this needs a little bit of work though um, as you can tell it's not exactly square here with the balancer it needs to be able to rotate down and the problem is right here um, on this hole the hole in the bracket is a little too far towards this edge i need it down here closer to this side that way the bracket can actually rotate around this bolt and square up i had to do the same thing with the first attempt we made at it if you can look right here i had initially had the hole kind of down in this area and i had to grind out up in here to make the bracket work and it works perfect just like with the hole up here so i really thought i had made that correction in the file but apparently either i didn't save it or maybe i entered it wrong i guess one of the two otherwise i mean we'd be in good shape and the bracket would be like we need it so i guess i'm gonna have to go back in and make another correction to this piece itself but yeah otherwise guys i'm really happy with that and i think it'll be a pretty sweet setup in the end another thing though i noticed i'm gonna have to do is going to be threading the holes here for a in fitting and to screw into so i'm going to have to come down here in this part of the bracket and delete a section of this um, extension kind of out of the equation so i'll have to go back in and, and play with that i should be able to you know bring it back up this far or so and leave plenty of strength in there and do it that way it shouldn't be a problem but just something else we got to try to figure out so anyway i'm gonna jump back on cad and see if i can make another correction like i said i'm pretty new to all this guys so bear with me um <laughs> i'm making some mistakes as you can tell but hopefully we'll chase them out the guy that's helping me with it my buddy that's printing them for me he's supposed to be pretty good with the cad stuff so i might end up having to see if i can get him over here and maybe we can try to look at it together he can help me get it figured out where i'm making the mistake at because i was pretty sure i corrected that hole in the last one so anyway that's where we're at guys back to the drawing board one more time and i think we'll have this remote mount set up pretty dialed in and the timing point itself dialed in i actually think what i'm going to do though is go back to this one bracket and i think i'm going to end up doing just a spacer behind the hole most likely so that way it's kind of one bracket you order it one time and then you're done you know you can use it for multiple things i, I, I don't know i gotta i gotta decide how i want to do it i might end up doing that might end up doing something different but anyway that's where we're at i'm gonna make one more edit see if we can get it reprinted maybe one more time with his help and hopefully we'll be off to the races after that so right, anyway so we're back out here again we've got our final block made out of aluminum that we're going to be adding their fittings to for our block adapters um really excited to have those had to wait on them a while um you know really having trouble finding somewhere that can make them for me um at a reasonable price so i had to get um again a, another friend of mine to step in and help me out with it um shout out to them uh, they i really appreciate it um i know it was a big ask and you guys knocked it out so that's great um now we're going to take and put the fittings in it our next step i already got the other one of these in the vise and i'm just going to run the three-quarter tap down in there just got to take this guy over there and we'll run the three-quarter pipe tap that will allow us to screw in these fittings here um just want to show you a little bit more of the stuff that we've picked up uh, to go with the project so we'll be running dash 12 fittings out of here um, three-quarter pipe tap on them and then 
we will be joining them in the merge. We got dash 12. Uh, so each side of the block will come off on the top and join into one, and each side of the block on the bottom will come off and join into one. And then dash 16 exits. Uh, remote thermostat housing with dash 16 ends on it so we can screw. We'll run our hoses from here to this and then out to a hard line pipe, which I picked up. Uh, we got two 10 foot sections of that, so hopefully that will be enough. I'm pretty sure it will get us done. Uh, that's just one inch aluminum pipe. Yeah, so that's where we're at, guys. I'm going to go ahead and run over to the vise and start running the tap down in there, see if we can get these fittings going. All right, guys, so the tapping is really fighting me on this thing. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly why. If anybody has any kind of tips or advice on tapping a thick aluminum block like this, uh, let me know down below what I'm doing wrong. But uh, anyway, decided to shift gears anyway because if you look here, I'm going to run into an issue on the front of this engine. If we run this straight out, obviously that will not work um, I kind of thought we might end up with some interference issues anyway uh, but it, we're gonna have to kind of shift gears and probably weld some aluminum pipe to the to our pieces uh, to our blocks so I went down I picked up some aluminum tubing uh, one inch and I don't have a bender right now so I think the plan is going to just be to do some pie cuts, kind of like you would see on a turbo kit. Uh, planning on building one of those here in the future anyway, so I really need to get some practice on doing that. So this will be a good little kind of tune-up project for that. So anyway, I'm going to take and put this in the band stall, start making our pie cuts for that, and uh, we'll pick it up after that. All right, guys, so we're going to cut our first tube at about three and a half inches long. Uh, looking at it there, I don't think I'll actually have to do the pie cuts. So we'll probably just roll without them. Be a little simpler setup.
All right, guys, we got it all knocked out. We got both of our water pump block adapters made. We got our timing pointer set down at top dead center. That's in good shape. Uh, we're basically now the next thing I, um, we're going to do for probably the next video is we're going to get to work on putting that uh, one inch schedule 40 pipe. Uh, we're going to make a hard line to run underneath the car. We're going to do two of them and get all that situated so we know where we want to run our actual AN lines to. And what we're going to do out of here, we got the dash 12 fittings coming off of our adapters. So these two will tie into this Y and come out as a dash 16 AN on the bottom. And then the other two will go into this other Y, come off of this with 90s. Everything will run to the passenger side of the car and this will tie into the other 90 and then run a in line from probably this Y either back to a bulkhead or straight to the hard line just depends on how I decide to do it once I get to running it uh, so that's the plan there that's what we're going to be probably working on most likely next week we also have to work in uh, this inline thermostat housing it's a pretty cool piece uh, threaded on each side for dash 16 a in fittings uh, so once we weld our bones onto that uh, schedule 40 down there, they will, like that hard line will screw into this and then out the other side with either another piece of hard line or a hose. Probably, I'll probably do this straight to the end of a hard line and then do the hose off of the back side of this um, up to the radiator is most likely how I'll do it. So anyway, that's the setup we're working on. Um, that's pretty much going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate y'all following along with the build. Uh, really happy to have this done. We've been working on this project here for a, a while. You know, even while I'm working on the other stuff, kind of had it drawn up, mocked up, had to, had to get the blocks itself cut, then come back and weld the tubes together. Um, first time that I've really welded a lot of aluminum. I mean, I've done really small projects in the past with it, but this is this is the most aluminum work that I've done. So pretty excited about the way it turned out. But anyway, I appreciate you guys following along with the video and the build. And until next time, guys, God bless. And we'll see you later.